Langoslin. And we're looking at the old horse drawn boat Saturn. We're quite high up. And if we come around we can start to see the town. Up off. The horse drawn narrowboats. See how narrow the Langoslin gets. We have passing places just for single boats to get by. And then we've got quite a nice view of the basin with the hills in the background where we moor up. Now, a little boat tied up in the basin where we're connected to the water and to the mains electric. Now, of course, uh, we also have a bit of naughty fun looking at the, uh, the higher boaters as they try and reverse into the moorings. At the moment, we seem to be going round in circles. Now, the Anglo Welsh Hire just come in has decided to go out backwards just as this one's doing his second turn. We're nav navigating the narrows now on the uh, on the Langollen. As you can see, it's only one boat wide. Rose is walking ahead just to make sure there's no boats coming. Waiting at the narrow for a boat to come through. And there we are, boat coming. And there's the turn from the Langoflin into Trevor Basin. And they've had great fun with the high boaters this morning, having a laugh at their antics. And in front of us, the Ponty Sister Viaduct, where Rose is going to take us across. And Rose takes us over the aqueduct and behind us day boat Trevor Basin 200 feet below us the River Dee and as you can see no safety rail on this side just 200 foot drop Distance Thomas Telford's house when he built the aqueduct. Way above the trees. Walking 200 foot down onto the sports field. Rosie working hard in one of the many lift bridges. About 40 turns, she reckons. More pleasant views. Now side houses, running down to Lime Kiln and the moorings. <laughs> 